We have to save Jane and Tali, but mostly Jane. Obscenus. Oh, hi. Looks like yeah, they do, uh, if they survive. One of them did, but hopefully that won't matter. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a lot of them. That's cheating. That is cheating. Cheating in half. Oi, no. Damn it. Seriously, Shepard, stop the One left. There we go. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> I just threw it into space. That was an appropriate reaction, I think. Yep, I'll park down. Why do I feel like somehow my shots aren't really doing that much damage? There we go. Maybe it's just the dodgy sniper rifle. Alright, let's go. Right behind you. Watch out! Now there should be more drones coming. Yeah, I see one. I did see one. I believe some of these ones have rockets as well. But double the fun. And there's a Geth Prime out there. That would probably be why my shots weren't doing that much damage, because a Geth Prime is extremely strong. Did Geth Prime just come out and hit you, Miranda? Is unfortuitous. Go away. Seriously, guys. Bloody many of these things are there. Go away. Okay, I see you there, Geth Prime. I see you there. I'm gonna wait for my shields to recharge and I'm gonna go out and shoot this son of a bitch. Actually, better plan. Hello. Now I can hang out of the sun. Shoot you. Go away. Miranda, can you can you stand up again, please? No. There's more. God damn it. Go away. Right, advance. Can I have my Miranda back, please. There we go. Incoming. What are you shooting at? What were you shooting at? Oh, those. Well, that is acceptable. What the hell was that? Ah! Die, 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 die. Boom. I said up, oh, Zaid. Get with the program. After you. Right behind you. Okay, I think we're good. Run, 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 run. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Come on, Miranda. Get out of the sun. You can work on your tan later. Security consoles. Those those sound bad. But okay, let's uh, let's see what happens. Ah, yeah, that uh, that's that's not a good sign. Colossus. Yeah, I, I have eyes. I noticed. Can we can we not do this? We're gonna do this. 
Hodia. I get paid extra for anti-armor duty. Yeah, all right, I, I know, I know. I will pay you extra because you're good at what you do. Oh, hey, Kyle Riga. Over here! Get to cover! I'm in cover. You have a rocket launcher. I sort of wish well, I bought mine. Kyle Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. Yes, we did. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. I'm here because it's what I do. Allie's inside over there. Death killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Right. But she's safe in there, right? Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at Is it you. wise to be firing yeah, rockets in that direction? Strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer. And one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. Okay, well, how about you stay here, provide covering fire, and we'll do stuff. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Well, that's good. Death might get me, but I'm not going to die from an infection in the middle of a battle <laughs> that's just insulting. Indeed, it is. Uh, what do you know about what we're facing? What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You can wreak some havoc from there. None of my men made it past the Geth. We're better. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The middle's a bad idea. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Yeah, so pretty much the right is the only real option you've got, unless maybe if you're a vanguard, because you can do that whole hippity-hopping, nimbly-bimbly, boom, whack, whack thing. But for us, the right is the only really viable uh, option because we're good at long range and medium range, but the middle allows you to be flanked and so does the left. Now, thoughts about the Colossus? I actually can't remember how you take that thing down. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. Doesn't work if it fixes the itself. Repair protocol blows that <clears throat> plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. Exactly. So whatever we do has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. Okay. So hit the son of a bitch with everything we got. It's the usual plan. We need to get to tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving no. so well, but I can still pull a trigger. I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the my Paragon busy. interrupt. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. Oh, I don't need a Paragon an interrupt. Riga, stay the fuck down. We got this. You've done enough, Riga. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. I swear to God. We don't have do enough that. people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. You're doing an important job here. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. Exactly. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Here they come. Yeah. Okay. Uh, could we just all stay in cover? That, that would be swell. So yeah, I like how he's here. He's cool. He's got that whole uh, warrior thing going for him. That's uh, not the way I want to run. Thank you. <laughs> that hurt. He goes. So yeah, Colossus will keep shooting at you. It hurts like a bastard. But you can you can outrun its shots. It's quick enough. Now clear. Uh, Zaid, I want you there. Miranda, I want you here. Allons-y. Oh shit. That should be okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. 
Um, an overload would be swell right now, Miranda. No? Okay, do that. Not half bad. Uh, overload. Overload? Thank you. And you need to go up. Okay. Moving. Okay, we need everybody right to move you. up with me. Fortunately, they don't seem to be agreeing with that plan. But, we're out of the line of sight of the Colossus now. At least we should be. Right. Naive, Miranda. Seriously, guys, watch my fucking back. The problem with that uh, Colossus is that he also has a machine gun, and that machine gun hurts. So we have to take down the shield. Here we go. But we also have to take down all the armor as well. But I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that it's vulnerable when we make it pop down and do healy stuff. Reload. Zap it again. Ow. That hurt. Okay, come on, Miranda, do your magic. Not bad. Okay. Bombard that bar. I want incendiary ammo on this one, though. Bad. Vomit. And we wait. Come on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Do it again. Problem solved. Now everybody with me. Just a second. I locked the door to keep more guests from getting inside. Well, we solved that problem. That do it. We fixed it for you. All right. You bet. Let's go, guys. Power cells, you say? I'll be taking them. Any goodies over this side before we head in? Well, I guess there is. Excellent. Tali! Tali, the cavalry's Just arrived. This Intact pulse rifle. Uh, yeah, we'll be taking that. Thank you. I don't think I'll actually be using it, though. Still cool. Hey, Tali. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. Yeah, well... This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. But what is it? What are you doing? You still haven't said. Obviously I know, but, you know. What are you doing, dammit? What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Okay, but why is it changing? Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to dun, guess, dun, dun. I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. So yeah, 
Uh, they had this as an original plot line. It was sort of referenced in Mass Effect 1, and it was more put into Mass Effect 2, but they dropped it entirely for Mass Effect 3, because the lead writer who was in charge of writing this stuff, Drew Carp... Carpish... I don't know. Carp... Carpishian, I'm gonna call him. The guy. Drew K. Not a bad writer, but that's another conversation entirely. Uh, he left, so they dropped a lot of the storyline that he had come up with and replaced it with stuff that they thought would work. And Mass Effect 3 turned out okay for the most part in the story, except for that whole infamous little thing about the ending that we all know and love. But yeah, this is pretty much the only time dark matter and dark energy actually gets mentioned again. So the value of your research is what, exactly? A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. Blindly following orders isn't like you. What's your opinion? I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. Exactly. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. It was. Are you going to join me now? Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. Hooray! And if the admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Well, not all of it. We they saved Rieger. the whole rest of your team, ma'am. See, there you Rieger, go. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. Exactly. Let's face it, Shepard's awesome. Do you need a ride back to the fleet? If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Ah, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. What's this week? Actually, oh, right, yeah, I'm still under the impression that... I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Thanks, Jane. He is the man we call Jane. Okay, um, so we recruited Tali. She's loyal to us, but she's kind of eh towards Cerberus. Though, to be fair, Cerberus blew up a quarry and ship. I'd be kind of eh towards them, too. We got the assault rifle damage, heavy pistol damage. Hooray. Got 63 grand. Some iridium and levels. So we should have enough points to upgrade our adrenaline rush, I believe now. So that's a plus. I think it was adrenaline rush I was upgrading next. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll have a look at the screen in a second. Tali? Server saw footage of you in action, Tali Zora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus hmm. threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. To be fair, Jacob is trying to build a bridge, but I sort of agree with Tali. That's why you're here, Tali. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Hmm. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. Oh, that comes later. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. Good enough. Uh, feel free to study the ship, etc. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tali Zora the necessary security clearance to access our system. She'd hack it if you did. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Yeah. So Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Eden. Chill out. The ship's new artificial intelligence. Oh, oh, dude. <sighs> not, not good move, dude. Not a good move. Yeah. Quarians, artificial intelligence, they, uh, they, they don't really get along. Surprise, surprise. So, yeah, Tali, as I was saying before she interrupted me so rudely, is another one of those characters who's changed a lot. So, like, Liara has sort of become uh, more like her mother 
in the way that she deals with problems, Tali is becoming more of a responsible person, if that makes sense. She was in Mass Effect 1 sort of like a, a child going on her first day of school, sort of. You know, if, if, if her first real independence from what was her family. And now that she's gone back to them and she's been put into a position of responsibility and trust, she's become a bit more of a warrior, if that makes sense. She's turning into sort of what Shepard is at the beginning of Mass Effect 1, except without the war hero bit. Anyway, uh, we can upgrade stuff. Gimme. Finally, a pistol What's upgrade. This area of the ship? Finally. Give me that pistol upgrade. Hooray. Can we get another one? Oh. Need one more one more weapon upgrade. That makes me sad. This is the Normandy's I know what this area now. of the ship is, Bobby, Edie. Stop, stop it. Hey, Kelly. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you yes. like, I feed your fish while you're away. Yes, please. I'd appreciate Thank you, that, Kelly. It's my now pleasure. we don't have to look after anyway, the fish. What's up? We'll still go visit them because they're nice, but we don't have to do anything. How's things? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Grunt yeah, I seems guess. very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. I really don't care anything about else, Grunt's puberty thing. To be quite honest with you, Kelly. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need any. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Have I? What the hell? From Tombs? Tombs... Oh, right, okay. Tombs is pissed at us because we have joined up with Cerberus. To be fair, it wasn't exactly by choice. But I can understand Tombs is being pissed off at us. But, he was a little bit crazy. He's still a little bit crazy. He's got his own Merc team and he kills any Cerberus teams he can find if we run into him. Don't expect any different. Well, okay, if you say so. The Admiralty Board is saying, yes, you can have Tali. Thanks, I don't think she was asking permission. And Anaya is saying thank you for not having to kill or be killed by Samara. And my dog is barking, so I'm going to end this little recording here, and I shall see you guys next time. Grey Hunter, signing out.